Jordan uh, Welber. Indonesian victory in the first uh, final of um, this Saturday and more Indonesian interest in all the following finals as well. Now it's up to uh, Chico Aura Dwi Wadoyo to uh, continue the good run for Indonesia. He's up against uh, Toma Junior Popov, the second seeded Frenchman. Here's the um, current standings in the HSBC race to uh, Guangzhou. We can see that uh, Toma Junior Popov is the uh, highest ranked French player just ahead of uh, Thomas Roussel. On the sixth place, whilst um, Chico Wadoyo is uh, not in the top ten. Wadoyo has only played um, one tournament uh, this year, that was the Orion. Super 100. So, the uh, men's singles draw seven different nations in uh, the quarterfinals as we had uh, two Indonesians qualified and they squared off in the uh, semifinals. It was a surprise uh, victory for um, Vadoyo in that match against the top seed uh, Shisa Rustavito, who is uh, tipped to be the uh, third single in the Indonesian. Thomas Cop team. Here he is. Chico Wadoyo. He's got fond memories from um, Spain. Perhaps not necessarily from the final, but um, from the tournament in uh, Bilbao, the World Junior Championships back in 2016, where he won the uh, silver medal. Lost the final, though, to Sung Feishang of uh, China. Uh, opponent, Toma Junior Popov. He was also participating in that uh, World Junior Championships back in 2016. He lost in the quarterfinal to a certain uh, Lee Sija. That um, Maduro then disposed of in the semifinals back then. Now it's a um, totally different story. Sija, who Earlier this year, won the uh, All England title. Made huge progress. This is uh, the first meeting between these two players. Hey, hey, come on. You want black or you want red? Red. Black. Side. So, why do you the coin toss and um, chose to stay on the um, far side of the court? As I mentioned, he hasn't played a lot. Um, Chico Adorio lost the second round in uh, Orléans to uh, Chirac Sen. And then in uh, 2020, he only played the Thailand Masters. In the beginning of the year, lost the first round to Jungwei Champ from uh, Malaysia. So, tall player for an Indonesian, 180 centimeters. It's, um, uh, foot 11, ranked uh, 80, but has been in the uh, top 50, as you can see. He's born in uh, Jayapura, on uh, Papua, the westernmost part of the island of New Guinea. He was the first player from uh, Papua to make the Indonesian national team. Here's his road to um, the semi-final, and um, it's not been an easy road. It's uh, Peppered with um, good players all the way. Disposed of um, the first seed and the sixth seed. A little bit of trouble against uh, Jonan Kwekel, the uh, second ranked Dutch player, up and coming youngster there. Now, this man, Toma Junior Popov, from France, but born in uh, Sofia. He's got an amazing record in. Um, Finals. This is his um, 11th final, and he's won everyone he's participated in so far. This year he's won um, the Orléans Super 1000, where he beat uh, Mas Christofferson. And as you can see, he also had a tough, tough match in the quarterfinal of um, this tournament. He's also had to uh, 
work his way to uh, this final. Actually, I think the um, most convincing match was against Lee Dong Kyung in, uh, in the semi final. To Tough match against um, the second ranked Spanish player, Kike Penalva, in um, the first round. Won the uh, solo looks in 2020. Did Toma Popov, as we see our umpire, Andrea Ciappini from um, Italy. And uh, Abel Garcia is our service judge. So when he won that tournament in the Salo Lux, Toma Popov became uh, the first French player to win a Super 100 tournament. Now he can, uh, well, the first French men's singles player to win a Super 100 tournament. Now he can become the first French singles player to win a Super 300 tournament. In Swiss Open earlier this year, you would have seen Tom Chiquel and uh, Delphine Delroy take the first French World Tour title by winning the Swiss Open. Now, Tom has a chance. On my right, Chico Aura Dui Vardoyo, Indonesia. And on my left, Thomas Junior Popov, France. Chico Aura Dui Vardoyo to serve. Level play. So the match is on the way. Alert there by uh, Popov. One love. That's gonna work. Ooh, chose to play it. Oh, what a smash! On the line from uh, Toma Junior Popov. We saw him yesterday firing smashes away first in the men's single fire, a semi final against Lee Dong Kyun, and later on in a um, thrilling three game men's doubles with his uh, kid brother Christo. Eventually, they uh, lost out to. Kusumo Adana and uh, Rambitan from Indonesia, but it was really, really an entertaining match. It's a nice little uh, steep smash, quick uh, One. Change. racket Two. action from uh, Chiku Wadoyo. By the Indonesian, he's really Two, fast on his feet. All. Yeah, I suspect there's going to be a real battle to uh, get the attack between Take these it. two players. Obviously, uh, at all, Toma Popom wants to um, get the attack and. Uh, Oh, he likes to attack as well, and he definitely wants to prevent his opponent from attacking. Excellent rally. Stamps his mark there. Toma Popov waits for the opportunity, and um, that cross lift there is a little bit too short, and um, immediately uh, 
grabs the chance. Hit there. Could have been uh, costly, but um, didn't really uh, get to it. Uh, Chico Wadoyo. Deception on the service return that sets it up for Madoyo. Defense that helped um, Toma Popa there. Uh, before he got to that one, he really had to uh, move the full distance, uh, Chico Vadoyo. Thanks to um, high quality cross defense from uh, Toma Popa. shot. Instead of going for a full power smash, he opted for a slice. Slicing it in front of um, Chico Wadoy, and that proved really, really efficient. Nice net nice shot here. Really, really good variation from uh, Toma Popov. It's interesting that we see Seven, four. tall players like him and uh, Victor Axelson do well because some years ago there was this assumption that if you were above 190 you would probably be too tall for men's singles but um, they've adapted, worked on the movement, They're definitely um, competitive. Good shot. He's working hard on that diagonal um, Toma Popov. Yeah, well left. It's gone long. Service over. Five, eight. 
It's a brilliant disguise from uh, Chico Wadoyo. And um, I noticed that uh, when Tomac Jr. Popov is under pressure on the backcourt, he plays to the forehand side at the net of um, Chico Wadoyo. Could be with the plan of um, uh, playing a better net shot in his own backhand side. He might prefer the backhand side to play the net in Tomac Jr. Popov. And, um, Means that uh, if Badoyo can play the short forehand corner of uh, the Frenchman, there might be an advantage there for him. seen some matches earlier on the previous year where Tom Popov has been challenged on uh, his stamina and it's played at a quite high pace this uh, men's singles final so far uh, well, we did it the second time wild and it's um, Seven, six, the second seed Toma Popov who's um, five points ahead 11 six here at the uh, mid game interval Spanish masters that have been staged so far. This is the first time he makes it past the um, second round. 11 6. Play. He has improved a lot um, in the last year, has the Frenchman that's gone wide, I think. Nope, called in. Savitsova, 7, 11. Yeah, on the line. Bravo, bravo. Savitsova, 12, 7. This is Toma Popov, senior. Bulgarian national team. Oi, there's a challenge. From uh, Toma Popov. One of the uh, shots that's really difficult for the line judges because uh, these sort of slide out or in over the uh, back line. Yeah, this was a good challenge. Correction out.
flash again. And we can see that um, Matuhu is not really comfortable in his defense. He tries to make too much of it. And for the absolute best shot, but also the uh, most risky. That's what we do. Service over. Eight. Eight. He didn't feel that he hit it hard enough to um, destroy the shuttle. What do you? Service over. Took the uh, top of the tape. Deflected a little bit from um, the record of uh, Toma Popov. Looks frustrated, Chico Madoyo. I think he's got to play better on the front court, make sure that um, the attacks that uh, Popov eventually is getting is not. Um, Really, really big opportunities. But it's difficult, and it seems like um, Madoyo is uh, really respecting the um, attack of the Frenchman. That's well played. That's the thing, try to um, get Popov to take some um, questionable choices. Using power there, getting counter attacked. Good little deception again from uh, Vadoyo. He should realize that um, they're working really well for him. These uh, delayed shots from the front court. There. Tiny little wiggle with the racket head before he hits it. And uh, well, maybe it's too late for him here in um, the first game, but he should use the reminder of um, the first game to sort of um, figure out. The correct game plan here as Toma Popov is uh, not satisfied with the mopping. Thank you. Big, big miss from Wadoyo because um, Popo was in dire straits there. Yeah, that's, that's definitely um, a spot that um, I would seek to exploit if I were Chico Wadoyo, the um, short forehand of um, 
schon mal Popa. Placement. Great service to Good deception and uh, Popo bites on it. Takes a small step in the wrong direction. working his way into this match. I think it might be too late to uh, be a threat here in the first game. Uh, but um, I think the pace has gone down with uh, the second seeded Frenchman. And, um, I don't think he can afford to do that. It's so nice to have a weapon like that to uh, score quick points when you need them. That's a fantastic shot. Again, this really quick racket release on uh, top of the shot. Clever play. And uh, first game to uh, the second seed, Toma Junior Popov. Really uh, convincing first game, but on the other hand, at the end here, um, towards the end of the first game, I thought there were some uh, possibilities for Chico Vadoyo. Great winning shot there from uh, Toma Popov, but. Um, Look at his eyes now here. Sort of like, uh, closing them uh, really tight. It looks like he's perhaps a little bit tired. Interesting. St 
start here in the uh, second game. Second and, game. Uh, Toma Popov um, run away from Wadoyo again, or can the Indonesian apply just enough pressure to um, sort of tame the uh, attack of uh, the tall Frenchman? One love. The recipe is um, pace, deceptions on um, the front court, and uh, not giving away big smash opportunities. And then the quick attacking shots, like uh, this drop shot here. Drop shot and the quick release smash is really, really difficult for Popov to, um, to judge where they are aimed at. And then I will also try if I were the Indonesian to direct more shots towards the uh, net forehand corner of um, Popov. Oy, that's a good rally, that's excellent play. By uh, both players, I thought that Wadoyo was um, playing exactly right, but um, Popov was matching his pace and then um, a little bit unsharp, a little bit um, too flat, the lift here, and uh, immediately he's punished by um, the Frenchman. Excellent badminton. Thank you. I talk. There, oh, excellent shot. Really efficient, these uh, crosses from uh, Vadoyo. And everything, in my opinion, in the body language of um, Toma Popov is saying that um, he's struggling at the moment. there from uh, Wadoyo. But Popov is losing um, the control of the net at the moment. He's being made to work between the net and the back court with pace and uh, he's got to take up that battle at the net so that he can create better opportunities for himself. He's under pressure. He can't do much. That's a better opportunity. Excellent play. Needs a certain time to uh, be really, really dangerous. Does uh, Toma Popov here? He got it and uh, immediately floored the ball. that shot from um, Vadoyo, but um, 
Only if he can make it straight as well. Look at it here. When it comes in replay, the uh, short racket movement. Very, very hard to uh, judge whether it's straight or cross, but um, I really haven't seen him. I haven't noticed that he's played it straight, so that's what uh, Popov's got to uh, look out for. He's got to cover the cross. Hope that uh, the Indonesian is not as strong in the straight attack. Four. Excellent placement. And what do we sacrificing everything to try and get to it? That might earn him a point or two later on where Popov knows that it has to be really, really accurate to um, be a winner. Popov taking his time, towelling down whilst the court is being mopped and um, Chico Madonna is ready to play. Desperation shot, I feel, from uh, Popov. This was going to be a winner. He didn't want to play longer in that rally. And uh, consequently, he uh, overdid it. Uh, good follow-up. Net play from uh, Popov there. Change. So far, this second game has gone the way Chico Wadoya has hoped it would go. Basically, I think he's satisfied with these three, four points lead so that um, he keeps Tomo Popov interested in um, this second game. Still a chance to uh, finish it in um, straight games for the Frenchman. Edge. 
by Doyle because he's got to be uh, really accurate in his uh, game. Not give any easy points away to the Frenchman. He's working well, Popov. Oi, excellent play. How much power was there in that smash from the backcourt? I would really love to see a uh, speed measurement on that. He gives it all. Look at this. I think actually it might have gone long. Yeah, there wasn't really a lot of steepness on it, but he's um, closed the gap. Only one point in it now. well for Popov to play a bit away from the net in the beginning of the rallies. Seven, eight. So he doesn't sort of get into these um, situations where he's being chased by Maduro um, from the net. Pressure to the backcourt, back to the net, back to the backcourt again. Gives him a better chance of um, picking up these easy okay. points with his big smash. to the um, beneficiary of uh, Toma Popov. I don't think he minds um, the match that's not too rhythmic, so to speak. the opening excellent play very delicate rally until uh, the final shot players trying to stay in balance not to uh, give any opening away to uh, the opponent Japping at each other while trying to find the opening for the big punch. Which for Madoyo more is the um, speed of the attack, the quickness of the racket movement, the steepness, whilst for Puffo it's raw power. Again. The moment he gets time, Ten. Popov, he's really, really lethal. Ten. Nine. I think this is too high, and then he's punished. It was 
Ramos once again. And there's a lot of breaks, and uh, Popov has um, closed the four point gap that uh, Wadoya had at 8 4. There's a lot of break, uh, uh, breaks in the match. It's 10 all, and I think it's advantage uh, France at the moment. But it's uh, Indonesia in terms of um, Chico Wadoyo, who's uh, ahead by the narrowest of markings here in um, the second game, 11-10 at the interval. Eleven ten. Play. So ready to uh, resume play. That dive there from Madoyo was the point. Really playing a lot into uh, the net, even from a low position, uh, what do you hear after the interval? I like to change every time. This is, is for me, it's fine. Play on. 11, 13. Momentum, which you will say, is the last one, is the last one. Play. 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 Oh. 
Beautiful shot there from uh, Wadawil. I don't think he can afford it because there's going to be a lot of mental pressure on him if um, they go neck to neck until uh, 18 all or something like that. Or even worse for Wadawil if. Um, Popov um, gets ahead so that he really can uh, see the goal line for his 11th victory in 11 finals. The one that with the broken uh, string, the last one, yeah. 14, 13. It's important for Adorno to get a couple of easy points back here. He's been made to work really hard for his points so far in the match. wide and his straight smash there Chico Adorio wasn't as dangerous as his uh, cross smash so he had to dive for the drop shot that shot there not as uh, dangerous as uh, the cross Leaves the court totally open after diving to save the drop shot from uh, Toma Popov thank you Consistent follow up by um, Toma Popov. Make the chance bigger and bigger. It's all square again now. 15 all. missed it. Now I really think momentum has swung back to um, Toma Junior Popov. Lots of breaks on rhythmic game. And he's got that big, big smash weapon. Take 
Next level retrieval by uh, Popov. Pays dividend immediately. Look at the shuttle. Toma. Look at the shuttle, please. You, you're a badminton fan. No. it. Toma, it's okay. Change the shuttle. Seventeen, fifteen. Oh, I saw the I it All or nothing. Or uh, what do we were there? Good. Give back. Come on. Uh, replaced. Uh, as we see these replays, there's a lot of discussion with the players and the umpire whether the shuttle should be changed or not. He's hanging in there. Chico, what do you? He's gone wide, says the linesman and uh, Toma Popov, but um, Badoyo wants a second opinion and uh, he really needs this one. Badoyo, let's see what Hawkeye says. Oh, it's gone out. Unsuccessful. One challenge So match point opportunities has arrived for Toma Popov. Three match points to keep his uh, perfect finals record. So far, 10 titles in 10 finals. And it's gone long, and he's, uh, he's done it, he thinks, but um, Vatoyo is challenging. If he's wrong, Vatoyo, then uh, Toma Junior Popov is the men's single champion here at the uh, Spain Masters. And he is. It's gone long. He's done it. 11 out of 11 
finals for the Frenchman who wins his first World Tour tournament. A deserved win. They really got off to a fast start here in um, the final and um, took the first game convincingly, but uh, Matuel found a way to um, to challenge him, but um, he fought back the Frenchman and uh, eventually made full use of his uh, really, really powerful attack. What a victory. Here's the decisive rally that's gone long. He's absolutely certain. Toma Junior Popov. It's always a little bit of um, anxiety, I guess, when um, the final rally is challenged, but um, he was in a good position. He could see that it was actually quite um, far long of the back line. Toma Popov. Winner of um, men's single and uh, increasing his um, ranking on the um, HSBC race to uh, Guangzhou list. Also increasing his world ranking, of course. And a hot from father and coach, Toma Popov Sr. Amazing performance by. Um, Toma Popov, who also played a long, grueling men's doubles match yesterday. And uh, I guess this is a little bit consolation for the, well, the European Championships, where he lost in the um, early rounds, but he's really uh, been a force in uh, these European tournaments.
So after the uh, prize presentation in uh, the men's singles coming up next is women's singles. It's uh, Wadani of Indonesia against Christofferson from Denmark. Here to um, the Carolina uh, Marine Sports Palace in uh, Huelva with that um, win in uh, women's si in men's singles for um, Toma Popov. It's also clear that Indonesia is not going to make history and make the first clean sweep in um, a world tour event ever. So uh, now we're turning our attention to uh, women.